Hi everyone, my name is Neha Kardam and this is the fifth lecture on introduction to microcontrollers. In this lecture, we're going to learn about assembler directives in detail. So let's get started. So this slide is from the last lecture and I hope you remember in the last lecture we learned about uh, what is assembly language programming and uh, we learned the definitions of uh, assembler directives, assembler language instructions, comments which come under which are basically the com uh, components of an assembly program. And then uh, we we saw the elements of uh, assembly language statements which are uh, label, mnemonics, operands, comments. So this is all we covered in the last lecture and in this lecture we will be uh, going through this uh, this topic. So so let's start with this assembly directives uh, which uh, so these are the five different assembly directives which you see here and they look uh, very similar to the instructions in an uh, assembly language program and most assembler directives they tell the assembler to do something other than uh, just creating the machine code for an instruction so main five directives uh, which we use under assembler directives uh, are uh, control directives data directives listing directives macro directives object file directives and all these assembler directives they provide the assembly language programmer with a means to instruct the assembler uh, uh, on how to process the subsequent assembly language instructions. So let's go one by one uh, uh, the definition of uh, these directives. So starting with the control directives, uh, it basically used to con uh, uh, this control directives basically used to permit the sections of conditionally assembled code. Now data directives are. Uh, they, uh, they are used to control the allocation of memory and they provide a way to refer to data items uh, by, a, by some meaningful names. And then we have listing uh, directives and these are, these are uh, those directives uh, which control the microchip assembler listing, li uh, listing file formats and uh, they allow the specification of tiles uh, and other listing control. And then we have macro uh, directives and uh, these directives are very useful and they control the execution and data allocation uh, within the macro body definitions. And then we have object file directives and these directives are used only when creating an object file. So we're going to see all of these in uh, detail in the next coming slides. So let's first start with our control directives. So as you know that control directives, it, uh, con it basically control the conditioned uh, assembly code and uh, some of these uh, directives have been mentioned here as you can see else, and, and if, and, uh, and w, if and all these are your uh, control directives and they uh, basically uh, describe what does it mean. So for example, else means begin alternative assembly block to if and then end, end program block uh, and then end if and conditional uh, assembly block. And these are the syntax you see on the third column. These represents the syntax. So for example, let's see if begin conditionally assembled code block if and then you will write the, the expression here. So let's take an example of control directives. Uh, so if uh, whatever the expression is, for example, let's say if uh, uh, number one is greater than number two, then you will use further statements like else uh, print that or else if this. So all these uh, uh, control directives you can use in your program. And one such example is given here. If version is equals to uh, 100, then move LWD10 or move WFIO1A. So uh, don't worry about what does this mean, uh, move LW or move uh, WF. These are the instruction sets. And we are going to learn about these instruction sets later on. Okay, so right now uh, the main purpose of this to understand is that how uh, 
if else uh, these uh, statements have been used and they represents your control directives okay now next we have data directives so these are some of the data directives which i have mentioned here and if you look into the data sheet or if you go to the uh, if you refer to the textbook then you will get to know there are more data directives which are uh, which are there in the microcontroller and i have picked up uh, some of them um, and these are db um, uh, which defines uh, one or multiple byte value so this is the comment what it represents like what does it uh, represent so it defines one or multiple uh, byte values and then you have uh, db with text string then it means uh, it will declare a data of one byte or 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 a string and then you have a dw if you have used with the expression then it will define one or multiple word constants and if you use with the text string uh, then it will define a string and then you have dt so this dt is used to define the table and if you use with the expression then it will generate a series of uh, RET LW instruction. So this is again an instruction set uh, which you have to read, go through all the instruction set, then you'll know oh, what does it mean. And then you have SE2, SE2, uh, SET, uh, which basically assigns the value to the label, and then you have EQ, uh, which defines a constant. So in our program, we will be using this EQ uh, data directives to define a constant uh, based on our program requirement. And let's uh, see an example of data directives. Uh, data directives. So we have LED uh, dash pat. Uh, so this is the label, and then this is our data directive which we have used. And you know, uh, uh, this DB, DW, and DT we already seen. Set and EQ what they represents. For example, EQ defines the constant. Um, and then uh, let's see some high and some low so some high set uh, 0 cross 0 1 so this this uh, operand which you see here this is your operand and uh, this is your mnemonic and this is your label so this operand uh, basically represents your hexadecimal number and if you if you use this then it will set the hexadecimal number into your microcontroller chip and then same here some low set uh, then it will uh, basically set uh, all the bits to this uh, hexadecimal number so this is how you can use it these are uh, several different types of data directives uh, which you can use for your program next we have um, listing directives so the listing directives you see uh, these are all the listing directives which you can use uh, for example error which describes the issue an error message uh, error uh, and then you have a text, text uh, string here and then you have a, a error label set error label so you can set an error label uh, into your program so and then you have list and all these uh, directives you can use uh, in your program so now we are going to see an example of this uh, directive which is error directive in our next slide so now in this example uh, we are using error listing directives and this directive will cause text string uh, which is here to be printed in a format identical to any uh, microchip assembler uh, error message and the error message will be output uh, in the assembler list file uh, maybe in the form from 1 to 80 characters so as you can see this is uh, this is my uh, label and then this is some uh, program is executed and uh, and then this control directives is uh, is executed here and then it says if uh, so macro arc one and if arg one is greater than equal to zero cross twenty, uh, then error should be argument out of range, and if or and m. So you see that here we have used this listing directives, and you can use also into your program. Um, for example, you are. Um, 
uh, calculating uh, two numbers uh, which are uh, and you have to define like whether they are equal or not and if it is not equal if those two numbers are not equal then you can uh, use this list directives and uh, create an argument that uh, uh, create a, it, a you can create a, a, a printable text as uh, the two values are not equal so so you understand like how we can use uh, these uh, this listing uh, directives into your program now next we have a uh, macro so this uh, macro directives it is basically a group of instruction uh, so before we understand uh, macro directives let's understand understand what is macro so macro is a group of instructions that are grouped together and assigned a name one or multiple arguments can be input uh, to a macro and by entering the macro name the same group of instruction can be duplicated in any place of the program so this macro it has the capability not only uh, it not only makes us more productive but also makes the program more readable so if you have group of instructions and you want to use you will be you can you can uh, use this uh, directive so user program is more readable um, uh, user becomes more productive by saving the text entering time so macro directives it has macro and m exit m there are many more others uh, if you look into the data sheet and into the textbook you'll get to know so we're going to see one example of uh, macro directives so so this example uh, tells about e so this is our label e ritual and then we use macro directives uh, macro name is the e ritual um, and then so we define the name to this macro directives and then we have a set of code over here so which is move lw uh, this hexadecimal number and then move wf this number and then uh, this mnemonic and this operand and then end them so these are the four instruction and then if you call the macro uh, uh, macro so we know that we named this macro as ee ritual this is our label so if you call this label then this is going to execute all these four instructions so this macro call causes the assembler to insert instruction from one to instruction four so I hope you understand like how we can like write a you know code and then we can call that code and we are going to see another example to understand this uh, micro directives so let's see if you if you want to add uh, three numbers so sum of three numbers you use macro directives so let's uh, say uh, uh, let's uh, let's take this variable as arc one arc two arc three move uh, f arc one w a and then you have this instruction and then you have this add w arc three w a and end m so so the purpose is to uh, add these three numbers and put it into the working register so this w stands for working and reg stands for working register and uh, and at this point please do not worry about oh, what what are these uh, mean so this is we are going to learn in the next coming lectures so just for now understand that we are trying to add three numbers and we are using the macro directives so now if you have made this code the next thing what you have to do you just you will just use this label and then put up whatever the numbers you want uh, to add and then uh, with this label what your program will do it will just follow these instruction and add three numbers and put it into the working directory uh, working register uh, so instead of these three numbers you can use again sum of three and then you can use three different hexadecimal number and uh, what it will do it will do the same thing follow all these instruction and put the sum into the working register so this was uh, an example of uh, macro directives now next we have is object uh, file directives so these are uh, many uh, microchip assembler directives uh, that are used only in controlling the generation of object object code so these are the object file directive which you see here we will be using quite often this bank cell and a couple of times we might be using this org so this bank cell the description is it generates the ram bank selecting code 
so that's how you use it this is the syntax bank cell and then you will write the label and then um, let's take for an example of this org it's set the program origin uh, you will put the label and then origin and then the expression so you can go through all of these and uh, you can see different examples uh, which represent each of these directives uh, and then you will have an idea how to use it in your own code. So I'm taking an example of a bank cell, uh, bank cell uh, and then you have a label here. So this directive is an instruc instruction. Uh, uh, it generates the instruction sequence to set active data bank to one to the one uh, where the label is located and this label must have been defined before the bank cell directive is invoked so when you use this uh, bank cell uh, object file directive before that you have to make sure that you have defined your label so whatever label you are using here should be defined before and uh, this is an example so for example this bq is my label and this is my mnemonic and this is my operand so and then and then there is some code uh, in between the these two lines and then what i'm doing i'm calling the bank cell and then my label so big q is label so you see that this code basically satisfied both the condition uh, you have called the bank cell and then you've made sure that you have uh, defined the label before so this directive will cause the assembler insert the instruction move lb uh, 0 uh, cross 0 3 so this hexadecimal number will be uh, it will set the hexadecimal number into your uh, microcontroller chip uh, next we have uh, another example um, and this example is for the ORG uh, and this directive uh, sets the program origin for subsequent code at the address defined in uh, this expression and if label is spy uh, if the label is uh, specified then it will be given the value of the expression and if you do not use any org let's first read these uh, these uh, points and then i'll talk about that so sets the program origin for subsequent code at the address defined in this and then label will be assigned uh, the value of expression so it's the same thing which i told you and there's another thing uh, which is important is that if there is no org uh, specified uh, then your code generation uh, will begin at the address code so I'll quickly go back to the previous slide so you see that we have um, this ob object file directive code so begin executable code section name code address so if you do not define this org then uh, it's going to put up a code over here so uh, uh, so this is an example of a org objective file directives so reset org 0 cross 0 0 hexadecimal number and go to start so resetting uh, with this hexadecimal value and then going to the start and then you have some code here and then further at start you have uh, let's say this code here so and then it will go through this code and uh, you see that how this org directives have been used um, this is your label uh, reset and then LED underscore PAT where this label LED underscore PAT it says that it has the value of 0 cross uh, 1000 uh, which you see here uh, this is our operand and if you notice that in this particular example we have used another uh, directive which is called your data directive which has been used here so you see we have used two directives uh, object file directives and the data directives so you can use multiple directives in your code based on your uh, code algorithm so this is all about uh, different directives assembler directives and you will be using uh, all of these uh, directives in your codes so this is the end of the lecture thank you so much for watching